So this question says, refer to table 3-3. Assume that England and France each has 40 labor hours available. If each country divides its time equally between the production of cheese and wine, then total production is... So to begin this question, we look at the table and we're going to cross this out. This is not going to be used. Instead, we're going to focus only on this section right here. And we begin by drawing our production possibilities frontier for both countries. So the way I have it set up here is on the y-axis, we're going to have cheese, which is going to correspond over here as well. And on the x-axis, we have wine. So now that we labeled our axes, we're going to define the points here. So at this point, if England decided to devote all its time into making cheese, at most it can make 40. If it decided to produce only wine, at most it can produce is 10 units. And over here with France, at most it can produce 8 units of cheese, and over here, 20 units of wine. So now that we've got that out of the way, the question is asking if they divided their time equally, then what is the total production? So what we have to do is essentially both countries are working together to produce a certain amount of production right here. So what we can do is we can almost superimpose these graphs on top of each other. And it would look something like this. Of course, it's not drawn to scale, but this kind of shows what's happening. And in order to find how much they, they can both produce, it has to lie somewhere in the middle. So it has to be at this point right here. In order to find that, we can do 40 plus 8, divide that by 2. And that gives us 24 units of cheese. Over here, we'll do 20 plus 10, and divide that by 2, and we'll get 15 units of wine. So the answer is B. And one important note is we were able to do it this way because it said the country divides its time equally. If they phrased it in some other way or form, we'd have to do something different.